know, you see a young kid and you're like, you're about to cry because hemorrhoid is gone. But, but really, yeah, it, it would impede on my life a lot. Um, and it, it was just like something that I was just used to. I was just comfortable with, you know, I, it's just something that I had to live with. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is day 8 post-op and I actually feel a little bit better today. Let me tell you what happened because I had it written down on my phone and I have all the intel on it. I was basically logging all of my, <clears throat> all the days that I was taking my medication. So I was on Norco, they did the procedure uh, November 30th, so I was done, I was home by 1 p.m. But then we had to go, um, I'm sure I mentioned in the other videos, but I was probably on a lot of medication, which probably means absolutely I was on a lot of medication. So um, we went to, back to my actual doctors, got the medication, then came back home. The first few days, the first day was all right, you know, I was like, okay, I think I can manage this. And then we move on to day three. I believe it was because there was a point where I absolutely just stopped recording because it just hurt so bad so <clears throat> um, day three was my first bowel movement and that hurt so much it was it was incredibly incredibly painful uh, you know I was cold sweating I was uh, when when I was trying to go it it felt like it was just tearing all over again like it was just like because I have two stitches where both hemorrhoids are so I'm split both ends and uh, <clears throat> I could feel the stitches and oh my god it was so bad and I was trying to get off the Norco because the Norco if you guys don't know it makes your your poo really really like hard and you're just constipated so it was and obviously you don't want that especially post-surgery because you know it's tender down there with that being said I was just really struggling I was crying a lot uh, like actually actually crying it, it hurt very very bad and Andrew poor poor guy like I felt so bad because <laughs> I would be crying and he's just like I can't do anything to help you and he felt so helpless but it was just like you know he was just encouraging me he's like you know he's like it, it's okay it's gonna you're gonna get better and that to me I was telling myself that too because ultimately I wanted to get better I don't want to just sit in pain and just feel that way so the first bowel movement is still awful uh, and then I think the it's still been pretty terrible today is is the yeah it is day, day eight post-op and I'm still having a little bit of trouble going to the bathroom um, one thing that I will say that I found from another person I'll put it down below she actually recommended the Recticare Recticare so I'll put it over here and that helped so much it basically it's a it numbs the area for a little bit so you put it on before so you're able to go to the restroom um, it still hurt but it did help considerably and I think that is important to note because I was not sent that or prescribed that. Uh, it was basically take the Norco, take a stool softener, the Colace, take Colace, the stool softener. It's the brand uh, Colace. Take the stool softener, drink a lot of water, drink a, or eat a high fiber diet. And this one I, I didn't do a lot right off the bat. Now, I think day four, I started doing more research on it. But I was just terrified because I have had, I had the hemorrhoids for over 10 years. I was just used to not eating a lot of fiber. Um, it, it would have to be an accompaniment with something to soften it um, because it would just hurt so bad. It was a double-edged sword. It would hurt coming out and it would just like snag on the hemorrhoid. So I was like bleeding because of the hemorrhoid and then I was hurting because of, of the um, bowel movement. So it was just... <sighs> Yeah, so as you can imagine, I was not used to that. So it was really hard for me to think, hey, let me eat stuff that's gonna <laughs> make my poop sturdier. Like, oh, it's just, just the thinking of that like really made me feel uncomfortable. But 
I've been trying to learn more about it. I saw a couple books. This one uh, was Peace, Love, and Fiber. And she's really quirky. I like that lady. So um, that one, that book I got. And um, I'm going to get it soon and it delivered to me. And um, just learning more about fiber, to be honest. Uh, that's my main thing. Uh, have I done anything extra, like working out? No, I did, uh, well, I do go on walks with Andrew and Lady Bell, my papa, my little puppy. So Andrew and I will take strolls together and then we'll often take Lady Bell as well because that way she gets her little exercise in and that way we get some fresh air and I get to start walking and doing other things. It's not super mega exercise, but it is something and it has helped uh, my heart rate my has already uh my resting heart rate has already gone down it was really high before the surgery it was like sitting at like 80 or 90 so now it is at 75 76 so it, it has gone down so it's already i'm already seeing the benefits of the surgery other than um i still feel the pain so i still feel the pain like where the hemorrhoid was because of the incision obviously but I, it, like I was telling Andrew, I was like, I can't wait for the day that I don't feel that pain because right now it's just like pain. It was pain before and pain now. So I just can't wait till I can't feel like till I heal up completely. And then that way I can appreciate that I don't have to deal with that or live with that anymore. And I could cry just talking about it because it, it really is like life changing. Like I'm really happy about it. I know it's it's silly it's like you know you see a young kid and you're like you're about to cry because hemorrhoid is gone but but really yeah it, it would impede on my life a lot um and it, it was just like something that I was just used to I was just comfortable with you know I, it's just something that I had to live with and I had to hop through so many um hoops you know and if you guys don't know the story I'll post it up here in the little tab uh, my hemorrhoid story so I won't daddle diddle daddle too much here but it's just like really awesome and it's little things that you just take for granted I don't know like pooping you know like every bowel movement that I ever had before it was horrible like it was just like you don't know like you know you really wouldn't know I'm like because you would just I would just feel the hemorrhoids I'm like I don't know if I need to pee or poop but like it's just gonna yeah but it's just so I feel free from it uh, and I feel like you know after this once I heal up I'll be able to live my life how I want to I can exercise the way that I want to uh, my surgeon did say I can't do any heavy lifting for maybe like four to six weeks maybe and he said maybe but um just because he did you know it's still healing and he didn't want to he doesn't want me to risk like tearing anything up in there so I have my post-op appointment with him so I'm going to be heading over there on the 15th and uh yeah we'll just take it from there uh baby steps uh also he recommended Mu Metamucil but I'm not I don't know I'm trying to find ways to eat healthier and by eating healthier is also including natural fiber uh you know garbanzos lentils like I've been reading a bunch of stuff pear pear skin is good I did not know that uh white grapes so things like that I'm trying to implement like so in the morning like I'll have oatmeal and that's one thing like that it just blows it blows my mind because that was actually a concern of mine pre pre-op um <clears throat> I was always scared to eat oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was scared to eat oatmeal. Because, again, it would make the stool hard. Constipated. Getting it out. Hemorrhoid. Double-edged sword. Literally. So, it's just uh, trying to retrain myself to say, hey, it's okay. Like, you can go to the bathroom comfortably after this. You will be able to eat what you'd like obviously making better choices because I'm really trying to not get these again even though uh, my surgeon he was really upfront about it and I appreciate it he's like hey look um, it may help you 30% and it may help you 50% it may help you 90% uh, but we won't know until it happens and you're gonna be risking a lot of pain 
through like the recovery of the surgery, which he was not lying. Um, you have never felt pain like that in my life. Like, but, um, you know, and then he said, that's just something you're going to have to decide. And I said, okay, but will I feel better than how I do now? And he was just like, yes, absolutely. So I'm like, yep, then I'm doing it. So that was enough for me to take the plunge on that. So sorry, my, my tummy is, I'm, I'm hungry. I think I'm talking about food, so. But uh, that is what I wanted to update you guys on. If you guys are curious um, or looking into having the surgery, it is very painful. Uh, post-op you you'll feel it like the second day third day your first bowel movement will be horrible but uh, oh yeah and prunes prunes helped a lot for me as well a lot a lot a lot a lot so I just ordered some prunes I'll put it down below from Amazon and you know I eat like three of those a day I in addition to the colace just because I'm like I don't want it to hurt um, again I'm, I'm incorporating chia seeds and all that too but what was I saying yes if you are looking into having the surgery if you have sorry i'm like holding this like this but yeah uh if you are thinking about having the surgery and you have lived with hemorrhoid issues for i would say even over like a year or two because even that is debilitating when it passes that it just becomes larger and you become used to it and it's that's not a way to live so if you are able to get the surgery if you are able to go through those hoops if you are able not to give up on it because i got told no so many times um i switched out several doctors because they were like no it's just you're fat you're not getting enough fiber you don't have anything like th truly that's what i was told so trust yourself enough to know that i can have a better quality of life if i do this and you will because I'm already seeing that and I'm and I'm not even fully healed yet so I really recommend it like if you're on the edge and you're scared like I know it's it's scary but do it do it for yourself do it for your future self do it for your family do it for everyone your partner everyone around you because you are just gonna feel so much better so ultimately that's my two cents on it I'll update um uh, and maybe an after post uh the post off uh when I visit my doctor uh, for the checkup and I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling and I like the idea because I've seen a lot of other youtubers like actually put in like their two cents like like three months later six months later a year later and see and uh, talking about how if it's worth it or not so uh, I would like to add my my voice to that other than that guys like just wanted to come in and give a little proper video because the other ones I was just like I was on I was on just drugs <laughs> and they help because there's some days that it's just it was really bad but like I said the, the constipation severe constipation and the rock hard bowel movements like mm -mm, do not mix well with the surgery so just a little TMI but I'm sure if you're watching this all the way you don't care and you're here to learn about stuff and see other people's experiences so hello <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like to see more, remember I have them linked over here. And I'll catch you guys in my next hemorrhoid video and regular video. Bye.